All right, so I've had some trouble with this machine uh, cutting clean circles, and uh, it has a tendency to flatten the tops and bottoms of the circles or chamfer the edge at around 10 o'clock. And it was suggested that maybe there's some uh, lash in the y-axis. So currently the machine is set up such that the y-axis beam is two millimeters down from the zero origin. And I've configured the machine to move in 10th millimeter steps, which is 3.9 thousandths of an inch roughly. Uh, that's what kind of worked out best, I think. So if we move 10 steps, we should be able to move about 39 thousandths of an inch. So I'm going to press the up arrow 10 times, which will move the gauge counterclockwise towards ideally 61 thousandths. Um, I'm just going to reach in here and press the dial gauge so that you can see that the fixture returns to zero, even though force is applied to the gauge. I think this verifies that the fixturing is not flimsy. All right, so let's go ahead. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And I would say that that looks pretty good. Let's go the other way. Should return to zero after ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And we've come up four thousandths short. So we should have returned to zero. The display reads two millimeters right now. So we've got 4,000 slash. Now if I go 10 in the other direction, we should have ended up at 39 thousandths, but we probably won't because the lash is there. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And sure enough, we come up exactly 4,000 short. And if we go back the other way, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and now we're roughly returned to zero. So I think this would explain pretty clearly um, why it doesn't cut clean circles. Uh, time to go ahead. Here's another one. I'm just gonna kind of dance around the zero, going up and down a tenth of a millimeter at a time, which is roughly three point nine thousandths of an inch or four thousandths on the gauge. So we'll go up, which should be left. And we get close to four thousandths. We don't return to zero. Now we're at zero. Display reads 2.1. Should be reading two. Go the other way. Come back. No zero. Back to zero. Now I have the machine set to move 0.5 millimeters, which is 19.7 thousandths, I believe. So three steps should move you close to 60 thou, 59 thou. Um, so I'm going to do three steps one way. One, two, three. One, two, three. Uh oh. <laughs> All right, so this is basically the same setup that I had on the y-axis, but now I'm doing it on the x. I'm set to move 0.1 millimeter at a time, which is 3.9 thousandths of an inch. So if I go to the left 10 times, uh, I should end up at 61 thousandths. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. It's a little bit over. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Doesn't return to zero. And then if I go to the other way, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Should have ended up at thirty-nine thousandths. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And we've returned to zero. Again as last time, I've now changed the step size to half a millimeter which is 15.7 thousandths. Uh, so three of those steps should be 59 thou and should put us at 
uh, 41 thousandths, I believe. So let's do that. Two, three. Kind of close. One, two, three. And then if we go the other way, we should have ended up at one, two, three. And we come up a thousandth short. One, two, three. And we're back to zero.